So the time has come to try out NetBeans 12 beta and provide feedback. So I'm on the NetBeans Apache.org homepage, but where I need to go is to bit.ly slash download dash NB12 beta 2. Now what that brings me to is this page in Apache NetBeans Jenkins, and here is a bin.zip, download this, start it up, start it up on JDK 8 or later, preferably JDK 8, 11 or 14, which are the three JDKs that Apache NetBeans 12 we support, because JDK 8 and 11 are LTS releases, and 14 is the latest non-LTS release at the time of the 12.0 release. Once you've done that, you're going to go to bit.ly slash netbeans dash synergy. Now this brings you to the test specification pages. And it looks a lot more complicated than it is. I've logged in as Joe Demo. You need to create your own login. You need to register, as you can see here. And once you're registered, it's all very easy. You click on the current test run, which is Apache NetBeans 12. And here I am. Now here you can see all the different people who are currently registered to do test runs. And I'm going to say, click on this button here. So you can see our assignments, click on this. And I'm on a Mac. And I'm testing for version 12. And I choose a specification. So I'm interested in the Java editor, for example. And I'll leave this empty. And now I click create. Now I scroll down here and amazingly we see that Joe Demo now has the Java editor assigned to him and we can see it's in the Mac column because I'm on a Mac and then I'm going to say continue. So this button over here is the starting point. So now I'm going to get a number of different tasks to do in the 12.0 beta 2 that I've just downloaded. So I've started that up and now I'm going to do this. So here are steps. I'm going to move the carrot behind a, B, C, D, E. So here is the setup, first of all. So I'm going to type this string inside a methods body. So I'm going to have a Java application created um, in 12.0 beta 2. And I'm going to type this string inside a methods body. And then I'm going to move the carrot behind there and press enter. And if enter is pressed inside of a string, the stringly is smartly divided using a plus operator above the string. So here is the expected result after I press enter behind A, B, C, D within this string. So here's a small task I need to do. And if this works, then I say passed. And if not, I say failed. And then I provide some, um, some comments here. I can file an issue. Um, but normally, this should pass. So then we go to the next task. And I can, here I can see someone's filed an issue at some point. So here we can see again. So here we should type this. And um, we should do the previous thing. So now we should do undo and redo. So now undo and redo are being pressed. Um, so we're going to press undo and redo ourselves inside of NetBeans to see if it works. And then we say passed. And then we get a next task. And you can see on the top right here that right now 1% of cases are finished. I'm going to go passed. So here, so I'm going to do this in, in NetBeans. So I'm switching between this and NetBeans the whole time. I'm doing these little tasks. I say passed. And then at some point I've had enough, I need to take a break, I have other things to do with my life. So I click paused. And what happens now is that down here we can see that I have completed 3.5%. So now I've got to do something different with my life and I come back again and now I continue. And so here we see, uh, here's our next task. And so we do this in NetBeans and I say it's passed, um, it's, it succeeds. So as we progress, we can continue passing or failing and so on. And if um, we want to take a break and do something different with our life, we say pause. And so you can continue coming back to this and uh, until the point where you've actually completed this and you may have issues, um, hopefully not. Um, and that is how you do test specs. It's really very easy. You're given small little tasks to do. And what you will find as well is more than likely you will learn new features that you didn't know existed. You will learn about NetBeans as you are providing feedback by means of this test spec. We need lots of people to do this. So we need to see lots of people in here um, all trying out with different configurations, different environments, trying out different specs. And we are particularly focused on um, the Java area, the PHP area, Gradle, Maven, and the startup experience. 
So that's it. It's actually quite easy and you will learn a lot in the process and you will be contributing to NetBeans 12, which is all about getting a release of NetBeans that is well tested by the community. So it's very important that many people do this.